Thank you for taking the time to watch this Tradestone training video brought to you by your Urban Vendor Relations team. In this video, we'll review how to create a Tradestone packing list. Vendors are required to complete a Tradestone packing list and Tradestone commercial invoice for all urban purchase orders. To start creating your packing list, please navigate to the Packing List Builder on your Tradestone dashboard. The Packing List Builder will only show purchase orders in an accepted status. Any new or revised POs must be accepted in the Accept New or Revised PO query prior to building a Tradestone packing list. If your search returns no results, please refer to the query to ensure the purchase order has been accepted. Enter the Urban Purchase Order number in the PO field to build a packing list. The Packing List Builder will display the total number of SKUs associated with that purchase order. It's required that you pull over all of the SKU lines to build a packing list. It's important to note that there is an open balance associated with your purchase order. The open balance reflects the number of available units on the PO that have not been packed. When the open balance for your purchase order is zero, you may not build a packing list. Please refer to the Tradestone user manual for additional information regarding the open packed quantities of your purchase order. Use the double arrows of the packing list builder to pull all SKUs of the purchase order onto the packing list. Once you've reflected all of the SKUs of the purchase order on the right-hand side, select Build. Vendors who fail to include all SKUs of the purchase order on the Packing List Builder will receive an error message. Tradestone will generate a blank packing list for your completion. Here, you will enter the number of units by SKU for each purchase order. It's critical that you reflect the accurate number of units and cartons associated with this shipment. It's important to note that packing list requirements may differ based on ship to address or region. Requirements on the packing list for the United States differ from those of the United Kingdom. Please refer to your Tradestone user manual for specifics on what's required for your Tradestone packing list. In this example, we will be completing a packing list for a market vendor shipping to the United States. To begin building your packing list, please navigate to the packing list detail. You will be required to complete most, if not all, of the highlighted sections here. Please refer to the Tradestone user manual for specific fields required based on your purchase order. Vendors will be required to complete the SKU quantity per carton, which reflects the number of units for each SKU, the start carton, which is the first carton associated with that SKU quantity, the quantity of cartons, which reflects the number of cartons that include the same quantity of SKU, and the end carton. For example, the SKU quantity per carton here might be 50 reflecting that 50 units of lavender are packed in a single carton. Your start carton would be one, your number of cartons would be one, and your end carton would be one. Your second row will automatically populate with the next numeric value of two. In this example, if you could pack 25 units of lavender in each carton, your SKU quantity per carton would be 25, your start carton would be one, your number of cartons would be two to reflect that you have 25 units of lavender, in two cartons and your end carton would be updated to reflect two. The next row will need to be manually adjusted to reflect star carton number three. Please remember to save your changes while navigating through the packing list process by hitting the save button at the top of your packing list. In this next example, if rows were packed in two separate cartons containing two separate quantities, a copy line function would be required. Select the row Use the copy line function at the top of the packing list, which will duplicate that same SKU line. You can see that PO line 2, reflecting rows, has been copied as it appears twice. By copying this line, you can enter a unique SKU quantity per carton for more than one carton. In this example, you can pack 35 units of rows in carton number 3 and 40 units of rows in carton number 4. To pack honeysuckle in multiple cartons, including cartons containing the same quantity, you can still use the copy line function. By selecting honeysuckle and copying the line, it will allow you to enter 30 units in two cartons and 40 units in the seventh carton. When you save these changes, you'll see the totals for the number of units and cartons reflected at the top of your packing list. As indicated in your packing list detail, you have packed seven cartons, containing 225 total units. Please also note the pack type. In this example, the pack type is loose, which means one unit per pack. 
For vendors packing a prepack, please note that the SKU quantity per carton is the number of prepacks, not the individual units packed. Additional information regarding your pack type can be found in the Tradestone user manual. For vendors packing more than one SKU in a single carton, please refer to the mixed carton training video for creating a mixed carton on the Tradestone packing list. Vendors fulfilling an Omni purchase order can refer to the Omni-specific packing list instructions outlined in the Tradestone user manual. Please refer to the PL quantity per SKU to check the number of units for each SKU line packed in the designated cartons. For example, 25 units times two cartons is 50 total units for lavender. You can also use the total section at the top of your packing list to check the number of cartons and units packed. It's important to refer to Urban's tolerance requirements when packing your packing list. For purchase orders less than 1,000 units, vendors are permitted to pack plus or minus 10% per SKU. For purchase orders greater than 1,000 units in quantity, vendors are only permitted to pack plus or minus 5% per SKU. Once you've completed the carton information on your packing list, please proceed in completing the rest of the required fields. Please refer to the Tradestone user manual for specific field requirements based on your PO region and ship to address. For this example, we'll be completing a domestic U.S. packing list for goods within the United States. Please complete the ship from zip code, enter the carrier associated with your shipment, enter a ship date, which will reflect the date the goods anticipate to ship, in addition to a master tracking number. Once you've entered this information, please hit save. To enter information in these fields, vendors can use the magnifying glass or the type ahead function. The magnifying glass will open up an additional table with search results. You can use the field at the top of the table to search for specific information. As mentioned, vendors that are submitting a packing list for US import or UK shipment should refer to the specific requirements outlined in the Tradestone user manual. Once you've completed the required information on your packing list, according to the field requirements outlined in the Tradestone user manual, you'll be ready to submit your packing list. Prior to submitting, please save all of your entries. To submit your Tradestone packing list, please navigate to the Vendor Submit PL button. This will submit the packing list information you've completed. By submitting the packing list, you'll notice that the packing list status will change from draft to approved. An approved packing list means that the quantities packed on your packing list are within tolerance of your purchase order. If required, changes made to the packing list after it's been submitted may be completed, so long as the packing list is resubmitted. It's important to note the tolerance requirements outlined in the Tradestone user manual and on the vendor website. Vendors are not permitted to pack in excess of the 5 or 10 percent tolerance based on their PO total quantity. For example, Honeysuckle has 100 units on the purchase order. Currently, I've packed 100 units of honeysuckle in three cartons. If I change the quantity of carton number seven to 55 units, I've increased this quantity by 15%. By saving these changes and resubmitting these changes, I'll receive an error message. So the error message will require that I reduce the number of units associated with honeysuckle given it exceeds the allowed tolerance. Vendors are not permitted to submit a packing list in excess of the allowed tolerance. To correct the error message that you've received for overpacking the PO quantities on your packing list, please reduce the quantity of the specified SKU. By reducing the quantity of the SKU to be within the 10 or 5% tolerance allowed, this will relieve the error message and allow you to submit your packing list. You can see by reducing the quantity to 45, totaling 105 units packed of the 100 on the purchase order, my packing list is now approved. Please keep in mind that vendors should only be packing in excess of the PO quantities if discussed with your buyer in advance. Vendors who underpack a SKU on their packing list in excess of the packing list tolerance will also receive an error message for an out of tolerance packing list. For example, if I reduce the quantity in cart number seven to 25, I'll be reflecting a 15% shortage for this SKU. By saving and submitting this shortage, I'll receive an out-of-tolerance error message. Vendors are not permitted to ship with an out-of-tolerance packing list. Please contact your buyer if at any point you cannot fulfill the PO quantity outlined on the purchase order. To resolve an out-of-tolerance packing list, please increase the quantity of the out-of-tolerance SKU to be within the allowed tolerance. 
by increasing this quantity to 35, that means my shortage is only 5%, which is within the tolerance allowed for POs less than 1,000 units. By saving these changes and resubmitting my packing list, it will resolve my out of tolerance status. My packing list status is now approved. As a reminder, you can always refer to the total section of your packing list to review the total number of units and cartons included on the packing list. This is a great way to ensure that you've packed all necessary units in your shipment. Once you've completed the packing list detail and packing list header information according to the requirements outlined in the Tradestone User Manual, please proceed in exporting your Tradestone carton labels. All vendors must include a Tradestone packing list and corresponding Tradestone carton label with their shipment. To export your Tradestone carton labels, please select all of the necessary rows. Under Reports, you'll find two options for printing your Tradestone carton labels. You can export PDF versions of your Tradestone carton labels, which will allow you to save the carton labels and send them to a printer at a later date. You can also send carton labels directly to a printer. However, this option is only available if you're using Internet Explorer as your internet browser. To export PDF carton labels, please select this option. A new window will open with your Tradestone carton labels. The Tradestone carton labels will outline specific carton information based on the SKU and quantity packed in each carton. As indicated on my packing list, I have seven cartons. I have seven labels that include the SKU and quantity information for each carton. It's important that each carton label be applied to the correct carton. Once you've saved or printed your Tradestone carton labels, please return to your packing list, which will be available to you on a separate tab or browser window. On your packing list, you'll notice that the ASN date has been populated. The ASN will automatically be triggered when you export a PDF copy of your Tradestone carton labels. For vendors choosing to send their carton labels directly to the printer, it's important that you also export PDF copies of your carton labels to ensure that you trigger the ASN date. Please note that anytime you make changes to your packing list specific to your carton or quantity information, you must re-export your carton labels to ensure that a new ASN is sent. The ASN is required for the DCs to successfully receive your shipment. In addition to applying a Tradestone carton label to each corresponding carton, you must also apply a copy of the Tradestone packing list to the first carton of your purchase order. To print your packing list, please go to Reports, Print Packing List. This will export a PDF copy of your Tradestone packing list. You'll notice on your packing list the Shift To address. Please ensure that the Shift To address of your packing list matches the existing Shift To address of your purchase order. Once you've exported your Tradestone carton labels and a printout of your packing list, please proceed in generating your Tradestone commercial invoice. A Tradestone commercial invoice is required for payment. Vendors must generate a Tradestone commercial invoice from a correctly built Tradestone packing list, as the information included on your packing list, specific to the number of units and cartons packed, will be reflected on your Tradestone commercial invoice. To generate a Tradestone invoice, please hit the Generate Invoice button once you've submitted your packing list and feel confident that the information included is accurate. The Generate Invoice button will bring you to the Tradestone commercial invoice screen. Here you can capture the Tradestone invoice number, the invoice date, in addition to the totals of your Tradestone invoice. To export a copy of your Tradestone commercial invoice, please go to Reports, Commercial Invoice. This will export a PDF copy of your Tradestone invoice. Vendors can also refer to the Tradestone user manual for additional invoice requirements. For example, a UK domestic vendor eligible for VAT must complete additional steps on the Tradestone commercial invoice. Both UK and US import vendors where Urban is acting as the importer of record may choose to consolidate purchase orders on a single invoice so long as goods are shipping together. Please note that the Tradestone invoice number populated on your document will also populate on your Tradestone packing list, as the relationship to your packing list and commercial invoice are very important. The information included on your Tradestone packing list must match exactly the information generated on your Tradestone commercial invoice. To return to your packing list, please use the back button. The back button on the Tradestone dashboard will take you to your last viewed document. Here you can see the Tradestone invoice number has populated on your Tradestone packing list. If for whatever reason you need to cancel your Tradestone packing list or commercial invoice, please refer to the Cancel PL or Commercial Invoice training video in addition to the specific guidance outlined in the Tradestone user manual. You can also refer to the number of units packed on your packing list in relation to your open versus packed quantities of the purchase order. By searching for your purchase order in the purchase order bar, 
you can review the specific open impact quantities. The details section of your purchase order will include specific information to the number of units packed on your packing list. Here, you'll see your PO total units, which reflects the number of units raised on your purchase order. Your open balance will reflect the number of units available to be packed on a future packing list. Your packed quantity will reflect the total number of units included on all packing lists created against this purchase order. In this example, we have short shipped honeysuckle by five units. The open balance of honeysuckle remains five, while the packed quantity remains 95. My open balance for my remaining two SKUs, lavender and rose, reflects zero, as I've packed the number of units to match the PO quantity. Vendors cannot create a second packing list or a new packing list without an available open balance. Vendors who require a new packing list will need to first cancel any existing packing list documents in the system to reset the open balance. Please refer to the Tradestone User Manual for additional packing list assistance. Again, there are specific requirements outlined in the Tradestone User Manual based on your PO region and ship to location. There are differences between US and UK vendors in addition to market and own brand vendors. It's important that you review all training materials before creating your Tradestone documents. Please refer to the Tradestone training pages of the US and EU vendor website for assistance and contact your US or EU vendor relations team should you have any additional questions.